Bang Xiang from National University of Singapore. It is my honor to introduce our paper, Learning Intents Behind Interactions with Knowledge Graph for Recommendation. This is a joint work with Huang Tingling, Wang Dingxian, Yuan Yancheng, Liu Zhengguang, He Xiangnan, and Prof. Cha Tasen. As we all know, personalized recommendation has been a fundamental tool in many user-oriented applications like e-commerce, social networking, content sharing platforms. It is of importance to formulate the task of recommendation. Typically, given the input data, especially historical user item interactions like click, views, purchase, and ratings, we would like to design a recommender model. Such a model can predict how likely a user would adopt some target items. Clearly, at the core is to discover the behavior similarity of users from such historical interactions. Besides, besides the interaction data, research studies explore how to use the knowledge graph to enhance the recommendation performance. Knowledge graph organize the background knowledge of items, like item attributes, facts, in the form of the graphs. Such graph contains the rich semantics and the relations between the items and the real-world entities. For example, for the sun, I say fire, one entity is its signal and steering, which is also connects with other entities, like another sun shape of you. As such, there are two cones in the knowledge-based knowledge graph based recommendation models. The first is the two models of similarity, user behavior similarity of user behavior similarities. And the second core is the content relatedness of items. Here I would like to introduce the KG based recommender models evolve. Earlier work like CKE and CFKG extract the knowledge graph embeddings of triplets as the additional features of items. Instead of the first order connections, uh, especially the KG triplet, another line extracts the paths of a sequence of the triplets to explore the potential items of interest. Some follow ups uh, design reinforcement learning agents rather than the path extractions to automatic to automatically learn and to automatically discover potential items. Another popular line is to apply the graph neural networks over knowledge graph to perform the information propagation and aggregations to, en to enrich the user and item reputations. In this work, we focus on the GNN-based research line. When inspecting the current GNN-based works, we find they fall short in modeling two factors. Let's move on to the first factors. Factor, user intent. Current work assumes there are only there existing one and only one one relation between the users and items. None of them consider the relationships at the fin at the at the finer gradient levels. And they ignore the fact that a user generally have the multiple intents to adopt items. For example, user U1 watches item I1 and I4 due to the combination of the director and the start. When watching item I2 due, the, uh, due to the combination of the star and the partners. Ignoring such user intents will limit it and co-founders in bending of the the modeling of the behavior similarity among users because the different intents will cause different behaviors. Hence, we assume that we make, a, we make another uh, assumption that, that is, conditioning on the similar intent, similar users will have the similar preference on items. And the, fact, the second factor is the modeling of, modeling of the relational puzzles. Current GNN-based works mainly performs the node-based information aggregation screen. Namely, they only collect the information from neighboring nodes without uh, def definiting uh, which parts of it, con it, con it comes from. For example, in this figure, they mix up they mix up the information around the first uh, uh, the one hop and the two hop neighbors, fail to 
failed to preserve the relation dependency like the P1, R2, R3 between the item between the user U win and the uh, entity V3. Hence, we would like to treat the single uh, one single relational path and the end information channels to count contact the information propagation. Let's move on to our de detailed design user intent modeling towards the first limitations. The first step is the representation learning of the intents. We predefine the number of the latent intents, uh, like k, and then express the semantics of each intent with the kg relations. Technically, we use the attention mechanism to assign each intent with a distribution of kg relations and create, create the intent embeddings. Uh, like the like the like the equation here shows, EP is the intent embedding share shared by all users, and the ER is the KG relationship R's embedding, and the alpha RP is the attention uh, is the attention score to quantify the importance of the relation R uh with three to to the intent P. Moreover, different intents should contain the different and the unique information rather than the redundant and the same information. Hence, it is important to encourage the representation of the I intents to different to differ from each other. Towards this end, we end the embedding uh, independence regularization to intent embeddings. In this work, we offer two options mutual information and the distance correlations. The first part, mutual information, we can minimize the information amount between the any two different intents in bandings. It coincides with the contrastive learning, the recent, recent success of the self-supervised learning part. The second one is the distance correlation. We minimize the uh, associations with any two different intents this, this measures takes the linear and the nonlinear correlations into consideration. Through this way, we can obtain the clear boundary of the different intent semantics. Let's focus on the next design, relational path aware aggregations, towards the second limitation. limitation. We separate the graph data into the two, two heter heterogeneous parts, intent graph, short for IG, and the knowledge graph, short for KG, while in IG is founded upon the user item interactions. It contains the rich collaborative information of users. Recall one of the, our key assumptions is conditioning on the similar intents, users would expect would, would show the similar preference towards items. We hence append the item uh, intent aware aggregations for user intent, user intent item triplets like the UPI. As the equation shows, we use the element element wise product between the intent embedding EP and the item embedding e, EI, rather than the summation operations or the LSTM operations. And the beta here is the to generate the user specific intent representations. We then move on to the aggregation of the KG part, focusing on the content relatedness among items. Intuitively, each, each KG entity has different semantics in different relational contextuals. Hence, we apply the relational aware aggregations for use for item relation entity triplets, like the IRV here. Like the ER is the ER is the relation embeddings for R, and the EV is the entity entity uh, KG entities uh, with representations. We also apply the element wise product between the two uh, embeddings here. This is the overall framework of our, our, our models. Knowledge graph-based intent network, short for KGIN, benefiting from the element-wise product. 
the item representation EI here is able to memorize the, the relational signals carried by the relational parsers, like the I to I, 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 R, I, R1, S, I, R2, uh, blah, blah, to the S, L. And as and uh, as we can see, as we can see, using the element was product here, it can it it can it can reflect the interactions among the relationships like the er one, er two, blah blah, to the till to the erl, and it uh it can preserve the holistic semantics of the passes like this one, and it it success it encodes the s. Uh, passes as from the item i to the some entities as l here i would like to show some experimental results here first we conduct the experiments on three data sets amazon book last fm and the alibaba i fashion we use the recall and k and ndcg at k to evaluate the recommendation performance and this table presents the uh, statistics of the baseline models. Clear, uh, and the baseline have we have the some baseline like the FM, CK, MF, CKE, and the some uh, GN based recommender models like the KGAT, KGNLS, and the CKAN, and the R RGCN. Clearly, our KGIN is the only the one. And the only one model considering the user intents and the relational path-based aggregations at the same time. And this table shows the overall performance comparisons. As we can see, uh, KGIN consistently yields the best performance of all three datas, data sets, and it verifies the importance of the uh, intense aware interactions graphs and uh, the relational passes or passes aggregations screen we, we used. And the KGIN can better encode the collaborative signals and the item knowledge into the user and the item representations. And the upper uh, sub -figure, upper figure tables shows the, uh, we when we increasing the, the effect of the de depth and when we incre increasing the depth of the KGIN, the, the performance will uh, sub substantially increases. And when we increase the intense numbers from the 1 to 8, and the th performance will significantly enhance. And uh, we also saw uh, one case study to, to uh, to show the uh, explainability or the interpretability of our KGIN. And the KGIN first induced intent the commonality of users, all users, with various combinations of the KG relations. And uh, moreover, KGIN creates the intent aware explanations for each intent uh, interactions and the uh, personalized of the one signal, one single users. And this figure show, and this part, this table shows uh, how the uh, how the KG relations construct the in user intent, and this figure shows uh, how the uh, how we re extract the intense aware explanations. And let's move on to the conclusion and the future work. And some take some take home messages. And we approach the better relational modeling from the two dimensions. One is uh, uh, in uncovering the user item relationship at the at the level of the user intent. The second one is that we modeling the relational parsers over aggregations, and which can aggregate the relational information from multi hop parsers rather than the neighborhoods to refine the reputations. Uh, as for the future work, we would like to incorporate the causal concepts like the counterfactual reasoning or the causal inference to determine whether the intents are the causation of the user behaviors. Okay, that's all. Thank you. And uh, you can scan the, the QR code to get our data and the data set as a code. Thanks. That's all.